What's up guys, it's your boy, Reset Boy, back with another video. Good morning, good morning, guys. Happy, happy morning, guys. So your boy is about to go to Jama's house. I'm doing a mega, mega live today, guys. Please come watch. We're not, we're doing games, guys, but it's not really for money because I'm broke. Every time I get paid, I'm broke because I have bills to pay. So it's not really for money today. It's more for like, it's more for shout out so shout out to sniper 23 blogs you get a shout out because you were in my live yesterday and i told you you won so i told you that you were going to get a shout out so shout out to sniper blogs sniper 23 blogs you get a shout out for being in my live guys he was in my live um yesterday guys we were live for five hours guys we're gonna be live again today for five hours so come with your questions come with your answers ask me whatever you guys want to answer ask me Please be respectful because I don't like hate and I don't like bullies. I will block you or I will hide your comment because yes, the other day we had someone come in, not yesterday, actually no one was in that one yesterday, but the day before we had someone come in and was like very hateful comments towards a lot of stuff. And with the time that we're in right now, Black Lives Matter, the person was being very ignorant and I do not like ignorant people. We actually blocked them. They can no longer send me stuff. And if you're hating on me, then get a life. That's all I have to say. If you're hating on me, get a life. That's all I ever have to say to my haters. But let me see if I can show you guys what I'm wearing today. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm wearing red on black and, well, red and blue and black. That's what I'm wearing. Or black and black, whatever you want to call it. I can just to this black. I don't know, but it's like a blue. Um, but I actually look smaller, guys. Literally, I look smaller. I don't know. I just feel smaller. And my knot is starting to shrink again. Thank God. Um, but I have my appointment on Monday, guys. So pray, 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 uh, pray, pray, pray. I'm not going to cross your fingers. Pray, 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 guys, that they can do it. Because he's a plastic surgeon and that's his job. And he should be able to help me. He should be able to get it off my leg. He should be able to be like, I got you. Let's do it. You know, whatever. But if he can't help me, then I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll just wait for TLC. Because TLC did say that they still want to work with me. But that was back in June. And we're almost heading into September. So I know they start retaping shows for September starting in August. So, I mean, they're supposed to fly me out to L.A. They're supposed to put me in a hotel room. They're supposed to have a car service, take me to her her, her office. And then, you know, the camera crew is supposed to be following me this whole time I'm doing all this. So I don't know. I don't know what will happen. We'll see which one God wants me to do. Because if he wants me to do TLC, then that's TLC opening the door for me to have maybe my own reality show or my own talk show or my own show of helping people. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like the sky is a limit. I feel like there's so much more that I can do. I feel like God's going to open so many more doors for me. And I feel like it's just going to be amazing whatever else happens. Like, I feel like, you know, if I get to the point where I can... Um, travel the world and help people help organizations help orphanages help a lot of stuff i told you guys what's really big on my heart and i'm sorry if i'm rambling guys um i'm just trying to get this up so you guys are not waiting until all day for me to post a blog i might start doing blogs just in the morning and then letting you guys have live stream the rest of the day and then you guys will be okay because you guys will be like Reese ray boy Reese boy ready part posted a blog i might try to do two blogs a day and a live in between guys to help me get my watch time all the way all the way up guys because i'm trying to make it guys before this month is over because it's supposed to get harder next year that's why i'm trying so hard this year to make it um i'm still mad at myself why i didn't start in 2014 like i even if i thought i was butt ass butt ugly that's what i'm trying to say but ugly um i should have started my youtube channel then because i would have been a bigger YouTuber at that time. So then I would have been five years to now that I would have been on YouTube. And I one, I would have already been known so people would know not to mess with me. Two, I would have already had enough fandom and enough fans to do what I wanted to do. By now, five years into YouTube, guys, psh, I'd have ever conquered all my dreams. I'd have done all my stuff. I would have helped so many people. I probably would have made the Reese Boy foundation or whatever you want to call it the Reese boy production foundation i would have done stuff to help people guys um a long time ago starting in 2015 i probably would have done a major surgery probably still um to lose all the weight or i would have just lost it on my own and got me a personal trainer and then just documented it probably just documented it for youtube with a personal trainer probably hire some big famous um personal trainer to help me um to do it
So I would have definitely done that. And then I definitely would have, um, definitely would have collabed with a lot of big YouTubers like Kobe and Sam, or Sam and Kobe, probably the Dolan twins, probably um, different people. So I'm just, I mean, the sky's the limit, guys. I still have time to do that. I still have time to do that. YouTube's not going anywhere, just like I know TikTok not going nowhere. People keep asking me that, do I think, no, TikTok not going nowhere. I, I'm not even mentioning who's trying to take it away, but it ain't going nowhere. Um, guys, pray for, I keep forgetting if that was the Middle East or where that was, but please pray for the people, guys. A lot of people died and it was sad and it was a scary time. I mean, if you look at the video, on social media, that aftermath of it was scary. I don't know what I would have done. I don't know what I would have done. I probably would have tried to cover whoever was around me to make sure that they were okay because I wouldn't want them to get hurt. Um, But just pray, guys, because this world is, like, going through a lot right now. Like, a lot. And even people are going through a lot because people have had... have Stuff has happened since this whole epidemic happened, guys. And it's just sad. Like, people are just... It's so sad. Like... Death is no joke, guys. Heartache is no joke. When we lost my grandmother in 2015, I will never forget that last breath that she took and the noise that it took when they took the, yeah. I just was like, oh my God, it dramatized me. It literally dramatized me because I could hear it and she sounded like she was in so much pain. And we were all in the room gathered around her, all of us, all the people who could be there because more people were still in different states. But all the people who could be there were there. And it just, like, it dramatized me so much. Like, I was just like, oh, my gosh. Like, you never forget that, ever. Like, literally, you never forget that. You're always, like, you always are in pain. You always have heartache. You still have, like, I mean, I was depressed, like, two years after that. Like, no wonder I was getting fatter even more. Because I just lost my grandma. The only grandma that I, only grandparent that I knew truly loved me. Because on my mom's side... They hated me. They never even wanted her to adopt me. That's another story coming, guys. I'll get really deep into that. And then my grandpa, he didn't care anything about me. He never did. He was one of those two. He didn't care nothing about me. I don't know why. He just I've never had good grandparents except her. That was it. And then when we were in Ohio, all my friends' grandparents were my grandparents. Like, my ex's grandparents loved me to death. Even the grandfather was racist, but he loved me to death. He didn't even care. He was like... We like Matt. Matt is a good person. We like Matt. And so I still talk to her to this day. We still talk on Facebook. We still talk on Messenger. She watches my loop, my YouTube videos. Shout out to you guys. I miss you. Um, and then, like, my other best friend, his grandparents love me to death. Like, grandparents, for some reason, and kids love me for whatever reason is. I don't know if because I'm, like, a big teddy bear or a sweet person or whatever. They love me to death. I don't know why. But, like, I always get along. Even parents love me. Even parents love me. I've only had, like a few parents that have not liked me that, that wasn't my fault that was more of they didn't want their children to corrupt me so their parents were like and that's bad if your own parents tell you if the parents of your friend tells you to leave that child's bad and i didn't believe the parents i didn't believe them until she threw me out the, of a moving car because i wouldn't go to my bank and get her money i was so like that's not a friend that's not a friend. That's a user. That's someone that's abusing you mentally because you won't give them money. So they think that they have a right to attack you and, and, and steal your money. And if you won't give them the money, then they want to cuss you out. They want to call you names and they want to throw, out, throw you out, your, out of their car and they want to steal your old phone. That's what she did. She stole my old phone. <clears throat> so it was just like whatever. It was whatever. But I just was like, okay, whatever. Um, but it was whatever. The phone was turned off. She couldn't get into the phone. She would have to reset the phone anyways. Um, and then she would lose everything. And the service was turned off. So she couldn't even get in the phone. Because it was Metro and it was right when I went to T-Mobile. So she couldn't even get into the phone at all. So it didn't even matter. Um, but guys, just know who your friends are. I know I've kind of went all over the place, guys, in today's vlog. But I just wanted to get something up for the people who don't watch my live, guys. Again, shout out to Sniper23 Vlogs, guys. If you want a mega shout out, over 2,890 2, subscribers. 
Come to today's live, guys. I should be live around 10 o'clock U.S. time. I don't know. That's 10 o'clock at night in the Philippines. I should be live at that time, guys. So definitely come over to my live. We'll be there for five hours, guys. Come with all your questions. Ask me whatever you want about my diet, about my relationship, about about me and Jama's friendship, about whatever you guys want to know about me and Jama. Ask your questions, guys. Get them ready. Write them down on a notepad. Write them down on a notepad. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, just get ready, guys. Like. Stuff is happening. Stuff is happening big with Reese Boy and Drama TV. She's still doing her mega, mega live, guys. So get ready for that. Things are coming, guys. I'm not even lying to you. Things are coming. I'm revamping my channel as soon as I monetize to do more challenges, to do more giveaways, to do more um, stuff. Like the, the reason why I said I want to do a giveaway, guys, is because when you're monetized and you and your channel keeps growing, you uh, companies will reach out to you and give you iPhones or clothes or merch and different stuff. And then you do big giveaways to promote that company. So right now times are hard. I don't think they're really doing giveaways anymore, but still like I can promote my, like I'll come out with merch and I'll come and my merch is probably going to say Reese fam on it and then have like a cross on the back or something or the day that I started YouTube maybe will be on the back of it. So get ready for that merch guys. That'll be fly. I'll probably have like flames and different stuff. Um, and get ready for that guys. Um, and, uh, shout out to princess, shout out to Gio, shout out to Evan, who's always in my lives. Thank you, Evan. We have a surprise for you, Evan. And that's the other thing, guys, if you're the first person into my live and you stay the whole five hours, you get, um, Hey, good morning. Good morning. You um, win a you win a surprise. So if you're there the whole five hours, you win a surprise, guys. So definitely come to my live, guys. Stay there the whole five hours. Whoever's there the whole five hours wins a surprise, guys. And they're good surprises. It might be money. It might be assigned something. Um, you do win money. You do get something. It's not a joke. It's not a hoax. All we do is ask you guys just to send us your P.O. box. And we will definitely send you stuff, money, whatever you guys want to do. You guys will definitely get it. Um, we have you guys. Like, it's not, it's no joke. It's not a hoax. No. I told you guys already, my YouTube channel will not be fake. I'm telling you 100%. 100%. I don't care who comes onto my channel that's like, oh, you should make up something just to get more views. Nah, I ain't doing that. That might be why I'm not getting a lot of views. But I don't care. I'm doing YouTube the honest way. And you will grow. God will bless you if you do it the right way. It might take years, but God will still bless you. I believe that because he's blessed me already with a lot that I never thought I would have, okay? Um, so yeah, get ready for today's live, guys. It'll be mega, mega, mega big. And get ready for Jama's live. That'll be mega, mega big. But I love you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Turn my notification bell. Send us stuff to the PO box if you want to see it on camera. I love you guys. Peace out. See you soon. Don't forget, going live, guys, soon. Bye. <laughs>